What's up, YouTube? Hefe coming to you. Captain Awesome Fish Room, Jeff Chromas Pro Vibe, bringing y'all. I'm just bringing y'all a video because I am ecstatic today. I'm elated. I'm super happy. I'm fantastic, magnificent, fantastic. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's just a great day, guys. I hope y'all are having a great day, too, whether you're in your fish room or not. I know I'm in my fish room, so it makes it even better. I wanted to show you a couple things that I'm about to do, or that I am doing, and, you know, just kind of show y'all a few pit. I'm not even going to edit that out. A few fish! Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, which you should... Uh, I posted some really, really awesome pictures of Odin, my Amphilophus trimaculatum over there. And, uh, you know, there's just something about these Amphilophus guys. And, you know, pay attention when I say that because that's going to give you a hint as to some of the fish that I am trying to acquire right now. Not necessarily for the 120. A lot of y'all, by the way, have gotten, or, well, have guessed really close if not the exact fish that I'm going to be keeping inside that 120. I'm going to keep a group of three to four of them and a lot of y'all had some really good guesses. A few of y'all guessed correctly but that's the fun in it guys. I don't want to tell you exactly what it is uh, but it'll get your minds turning so if you haven't guessed yet and you've been thinking about it go back to the last video uh, and go through the comments and, you know, see what people are saying. It'll give you a better idea of, you know, what I'm looking at doing here. Um, and also, the 120 is also going to have live plants in it. Yes, live plants. Now, it's not going to be one of those skate tanks like the 50 long subscriber planted tank over here. Uh, it's going to have some of your longer plants, like, I'm definitely going to have some high grow polysperma sunset and high grow polysperma tiger in there. No doubt, high grow is my favorite plant ever. Hygrophilia, any species of hygrophilia is my favorite plant, guys. By far, best plant in the world. My opinion, of course, but by far the best plant in the world. You got, you got the harder to keep ones, you got mid-grade ones, you got really easy to keep ones. And not only that, they're beautiful. No matter which species of high grow you look at, they are beautiful. So, without further ado, I'm going to give y'all a quick excerpt of what I'm doing, what I'm preparing for the 120 gallon, uh, because my buddy Mike sent me some bigger bags. I got them in the mail today. Mike, thanks, brother. Really appreciate it. Uh, so we'll be getting Micro Machine out to Mr. Man 316 uh, more than likely this week because I have the box, I have the Styro insert, I'm ready to go. Uh, so I just got to get all that together and then coordinate with Mike. And Micro Machine is going to make a trip over to Mr. Man 316's fish room. So pretty exciting stuff. I hope y'all are excited for today's video because I know I am. And sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Because here we go. Alright, so we're back and here is a look at what I am doing right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a four foot dual bulb T5HO light fixture right there. Now, it doesn't have a housing or anything like that, but uh, I'm just getting it to work today. You can see right here. Uh, I still have to splice it and hook it into a power source, which is one of these bad boys right here. Got all the tools for that. Uh, so I'm just getting it working today, and then I'm going to make another video 
of how to make a DIY housing for these types of lights. And believe me guys, when I tell you this, it's easier than you think. Uh, and the materials needed are cheap, cheap, cheap. So get excited for that. I know I'm really excited. I'm, I'm just excited to bring this to y'all, guys. Really excited. It's been a really great day. I hope y'all are having a great day again. And, you know, my, my subscriber number is climbing every day, guys. Every single day. So thank you for that. Uh, you know, it, it, it really touches my heart and humbles me to know that that many people enjoy watching my videos. And to all of you out there that watch my videos and, and, and just haven't subscribed, thank you too. I really appreciate it. You know, it's, it's mind-boggling to think that so many people would enjoy watching what I do in my fish room. I, I just think that is totally awesome, so thank you all so much. Uh, it truly means a lot. So let's take a look at a few fish. And then we'll get you out of here. I think today is going to be the shortest video I've done in a while. So sit back, relax, hang tight. Here we go. All right, guys. So here is the 50 long subscriber planted tank. You can see all those little dwarf puffers in there just enjoying life. You can see that Pure for Kick sticker right there on my phone. That's right, guys. But uh, enjoying life. Plants are just lush, lush, lush. Uh, I actually took two bulbs out of the fixture I have running in this tank and come to find out I had too much light. Now not necessarily too much too much light for the amount of water that's inside of this aquarium, but too much light for how short this aquarium is. If you step back a little bit, you can see that's why it's called a 50 long, okay? It's, it's not as high as your standard 50 or 55. Uh, so it's it's definitely a shallower tank, and I definitely had too much light bumping in it. So all my plants were growing, you know, bushy, but they were growing compact. So you can see the high grow tiger over here. Let me get it to focus. You can see that's starting to raise up a little bit. And that's the thing, guys. You know, you can read on all these planted tank forums and, uh, you know, just watch other videos of people dosing their tanks and stuff like that, guys. But when it comes down to it, you really have to do the trial and error on your own tank because every tank is different, guys. Every single tank. If you set up two tanks that look just like this, even both of those will be different, okay? Okay. Things are going to grow differently in them. The water chemistry is going to be a little bit different in them. And, you know, everything is different. So you really have to experiment. And whenever you get fertilizers and stuff like that, you know, don't just automatically dose what the directions say on the bottle. Okay? Now, I mean, of course, you can try out the directions. And if it works, great. But like I told my good friend Dino from Dino Weld for Life, uh, try lowering it or try raising it a little bit because you know every tank being different you know you kind of have to play with what you're adding to the tank you know I mean you might you might have uh, you know a substrate in there that's providing a little bit more than uh, what you need out of a fertilizer so you don't have to dose as much so if you're having problems dial it back a little bit if you're not getting the results that you want dial it up a little bit you got to play with that kind of stuff guys Okay, I mean the directions on a bottle are not the end-all do-all on any fertilizer or you know aquarium product even medications guys, you know So little little tip or advice or however you want to take it there, but um Yeah, so let's go to the last tank and I'll let y'all go This tiger high grow is just off the chain look at those colors guys look at those colors sorry for the shaky camera beautiful plant here we go all right guys so no video is complete as y'all know without showing cletus the pahaka puffer okay no video is complete without showing him but bye -ya! what is that what is that? Check that out, guys. I have MTS, multiple tank syndrome, cichlid man 09 bracelet, 
it, I mean, guys, these bracelets are good quality and the colors are awesome. So if you want one, go hit up for Cichlid Man 09, check it out. Awesome bracelets. Got mine today and I love it. So with that said, guys, be sure to go and check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, all those things, guys, all those things. Make sure you go check us out. Uh, we have the price list up for the plant furts and the caves and stuff like that. Uh, and the Southern Delight food, all of it's there. I'm making it really easy uh, because all the, all the links are inside the description. So go check them out, guys. Go check them out. It's a great community. Uh, lots of knowledgeable people and all the members of Team Aquatic Support are more than ready, happy, and willing to help you. So with that said, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all are thinking. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping. And stay true to the hobby, guys. Peace. And of course, for all of you stay till the enders, I gotta give y'all a little extra. Beware of the tack fish. Dovi. Big rig the Dovi. Look at him, guys. He is in the 14 inch mark and he is looking every bit of stunning. I mean, look at this guy. Personality to die for. Hates my guts. Look at that. Just hates me. But I love him. Beautiful fish. Thank y'all for watching till the end. Stay true to the hobby. Happy fish keeping. We'll see y'all next time. Adios, folks.